Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to look at how to stop buffering uh, and if not stop it, fix it greatly on your Kodi box and optimize your settings so that you can hopefully minimize buffer and um, stream video files quicker, easier, and more reliably. Uh, to do this, we're going to use a tool from Top Tutorials called TT Buffer Fix. Uh, TT Buffer Fix is a remake of the old Easy Advanced utility um, that's been updated for Kodi 17, which needed some code changes in order to work. Um, so if you have uh, Kodi 17, this is the best way to stop buffer on your Kodi box. If you have Kodi 16 or less, we'll provide uh, some text instructions in our guide for how you can use uh, Easy Advanced utility to um, stop buffering on your box. So the first thing we want to do is go up to settings in our Kodi uh, setup. That's this little cog icon in the middle up at the top. We want to go to file manager, click on add source, none, and the source is toptutorialsrepo.co.uk slash Kodi. And we'll give this media source a name. I'm just going to call it uh, Top Tutorials. And click OK. Now go back to your main menu. Go down to Add-ons. Uh, and click on this Add-on browser. That's the package icon up at the top left. Install from zip file. We're going to select that top tutorials repo that I just added. Go to maintenance and install this Kodi 17 buffering fix.zip. After it installs, go up to my add ons, go to program add ons and go down to TT buffer fix so once you're inside the add-on you are going to want to go to edit settings network settings cache and you're going to want to go down to these three uh, options here at the bottom memory size buffer mode and read factor um, so memory size is going to be our most important um, most important number here. Now there are two ways that we can go about uh, configuring our memory size. One is uh, a default value that will work great for everyone uh, and the other one is a customized uh, method to calculating our memory size. So uh, what you need to know is that the memory size is the amount of RAM that Kodi will use on your system uh, to buffer videos in memory. Um, so if you only have a one megabyte uh, RAM box, then your memory size can only be three times uh, worth what your available memory is to Kodi. Um, so if you'd like to keep it simple and you don't want to make the calculation on your own, uh, we can just click on memory size here. We can delete disabled. The number you want to put in is 419-430-400 and click OK. And buffer mode, we want to change to, we want to select the option one, which means that we'll buffer all media that passes through Kodi. And the read factor, we will want to delete this disabled. And you'll want to put 4.0. The read factor is the um, max read rate that Kodi will use to buffer. Um, so a read rate of 4 will just continuously load your media into your buffer cache um, continuously. Now I'll go back to the main screen by clicking the three dots, uh, or sorry, two dots three times. And what we'll want to do is we'll want to click this write XML file to write our advanced settings directly into our user data directly, directory where our Kodi settings say. So there we go, our file's been created, and we can click on view active advanced settings.xml, 
um, and we can see that our uh, buffer mode, memory size, and read factor have been written to a file. Now if you want to use a custom memory size number uh, to optimize the uh, to optimize and stop buffering on your Kodi box, uh, we need to figure out how much available RAM is, is available to us um, and use that number to manually calculate a file for our memory size. Um, so to calculate how much free RAM you have available, uh, go back to your main menu and click on the settings cog here and go over to system information. And you'll see uh, under summary here, we have free information as the first option. Uh, right now in my box, I'm using my MacBook, so uh, I have a ton of memory available, uh, six, about 6 gigabytes. Um, but 6180 is the free memory available to me. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use a number a little less than that because you don't want Kodi, um, your buffer, to use up all of the RAM memory available to you. You want to leave some for system processes and things like that. So... Um, if you have two gigs of RAM uh, and you're so you're showing something like 1800, 1700, I would use a number like 1500 in my calculation. Uh, for me, because this is my MacBook and I don't want Cody to, to use up too much of the memory, um, where my free memory is 6171, I'll probably use a number like 5700 uh, in my calculation. Um, so if you're using a number um, such as um, 1700. Uh, what you're going to want to do is take that number 1700 uh, which is a number in megabytes and you're going to want to divide by 3 and then you're going to want to multiply by 1024 twice. So 1700 divided by 3 times 1024 times 1024 and this is going to give you a appropriate memory size to enter in uh, in your TT buffer fix settings. Uh, and if you forget that, don't worry, I'll post uh, the calculation in the description to help you guys out. So if you do your calculation and then you go back into your TT buffer fix add-on, go back into edit settings, network settings, cache, go down to your memory size and enter in your memory size value that you got in your calculation. Um, so for me, for my example, 1700 divided by 3, and then times 1024 twice gets me a number of 594193066. We'll click OK. Again, buffer mode is 1, read factor is 4.0. We'll go back to the main menu and we'll write our new XML file. And that's it. We can view our active one and we can see that it now has our new memory size filled in. Um, so with that, um, this should optimize your memory size to stop buffering in Kodi and hopefully improve your viewing experience when you're watching some streams on Kodi. Uh, now be aware this this will optimize your cache uh, for static streams. Those are movies and TV streams that are um, found in many of the Kodi add-ons. Your cache, your buffer settings don't um, improve your live streams all that much, although they will. Um, some servers that, or most live servers that live streams come with, are just too slow to handle um, continuous uh, buffering, and that's why you get buffer. It's a server side issue, not a uh, Kodi box issue on your end. So, um, just so you're aware, if you're looking for a magic fix for live streams, this isn't that. The other thing you should be aware of is that uh, your internet speed will also um, factor greatly into how you buffer. Uh, always make sure that your Kodi box is um, hardwired into your Ethernet network in your house uh, to minimize the latency that Wi-Fi gives you, uh, which, which is a major factor for buffer as well. Um, so that's it. Hopefully this helps you remove buffer. Uh, and optimize your settings uh, to stop buffering on your Kodi system today.